Buddy, that ball's too big. Jeez. All right. Why, thank you. You're welcome. Sweetum. Oh, brother. <laughs> trying to get these broken wipers off the bus. He said drive it in the rain. Duh. <laughs> so this one's all wonky and that one doesn't even have one. So hey. I'd also help me. Well, was helping me get these ones off. Hadassah. So we got those loosened up. Oh. And then I broke one. Over here. Come off of here. These had steel nuts on it and I sheared one off. Broke a lot easier than I thought it was gonna. So anyway. But then I don't know how to get the, the thing the rest of the way off. Which thing? Oh, you mean the whole thing? Yeah. So like this one just, that one just slips off. And then it's got a little plastic push up there. Um, I'll set that aside. But now this part, I'm not sure how, how it works. Because it's got a spring that's got tension on it. But you can relieve that by putting a pin of some sort. Just use my long hex key. Wait, wait, let me see. Because uh, the there's a catch. Like if you pull this out and you oh. can put that in there and then it'll it'll hold it. So now there's not you know that's not got tension on it. Right. Now I just gotta figure out how to and I don't know if it threads off. I don't think so, because it can't spin past that. Maybe you just yank it. I know. But I don't know how uh, but then, wait, 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 but yank. don't you want to, like, use these windshield wipers? What do you... Well, I need to, I want to take them with me. Oh, to the somewhere door. To find a replacement. Because um, I don't know how much you have to replace. If oh, you do, I like, see. This part here, or if you just buy the whole thing and bolt a new one on. But this, I'm but like sure on our works. cars... But on our cars, don't you just, you buy this whole thing? Yeah. Well, does, yeah so it doesn't come off right there? Way. Yeah, it looks like it might. So you don't have to take this whole, this whole thing off, do you? Just take, well, you may be right. I and mean, it looks like something's missing <gasps> over here though. But maybe that's just for the, for the, uh, for the washer. Maybe that's what that was. Yeah, that's probably what that was. So maybe you're right. Maybe I could just get take that off and go get a, a new one. And I wouldn't have had to break that because now I have to figure out how to replace the mounting bracket. But why did... So I do not understand why you did that. Well, because I wanted to just take the whole thing with me. Because well, I didn't know if you could buy just this. But part. you can buy that just that for our cars, so why can't you buy just that for the bus? Well, I don't know that. I just was going to take the whole thing with me. and. I know, but why break the bus before I, you know? You don't, I didn't mean to <laughs> break it. Okay. It's just, well, it's all rusted and it broke a lot easier than I thought it was going oh, to. Oh, so you got to fix it anyway. Well, I got to fix that. Okay. So. Happen. I shake YouTube. Just trying to find out if this is threaded on or just if it just slips on and it's just rusted or whatever. Mm -hmm. Kind of figured it just slipped on. Mm -hmm. And a YouTube video kind of confirmed that. So I'm just going to pry this off. It is moving. Mm -hmm. Can't tell. Ah! There we 
it is. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, now you can see. <laughs> Didn't scratch anything, that's good. No, probably not too bad. So it's got that thing pressed on there. So that, it probably just slips on over this with a slot in it. Oh. So that would lock that on. And then it's got the splines here mm -hmm. that will match what's inside of there. Okay. And that will lock the blade on. Cool. So. Good job. Yeah. And we'll just see about getting the bracket off. Hopefully this little part over here is separate. Which part? Hopefully this part is just being held on by the nut. Okay. And I can then uh, replace this part, the, the bracket part yeah. with this on it, I oh. hope, uh, without having to replace the whole motor. That would suck. Yeah, and why would but, you have to replace the whole motor? If it, I mean, it's... If I can't just replace this piece Okay, here. and why do you have to replace that piece? Because I broke it off. With the acid just a second ago? Yeah. <laughs> and then I came out with okay. Smarty, Miss Smarty Pants. Way easier than I thought it would. It came off easier than you thought? It broke off way easier than I thought it would. Well, maybe it was rusted, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I wasn't just being Smarty Pants. You are a smarty pants, but <laughs> but I was right. I love you. Thank okay. <laughs> you. You may have turned out to be right. Yeah, that's really rusted. So I don't know. We'll see what All right. happens. All right. Well, call me back. Okay. Hey. Inside, it's raining. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah. What you got? Well, I got a little assortment of parts I need to replace. So we got this guy off, and then this is where this one uh, mounts, you know. And we I broke off that. Oh yeah. I just sheared that off. With the dust, yeah. The front of the bus, and this uh, mounts through the front with a nut on the back. Oh, um, okay. So I was able to get that piece off, but okay. I don't know if I can see if I can get a replacement or else have another one made. I suppose. Okay. I'll figure That's something out. That's what you're gonna. Yep. Get... Okay. And then. What's that? On another video, I was talking about a little an air leak that we had under the dash. Yeah. And this is the where the airlines hook up to the mm, wiper motor. Okay. It's driven by air. Oh. And this little guy was, um, well, it was just cracked right there. But in the process of getting it off, of course, I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we got to get, hopefully, so, I don't have to get a whole new motor. Hopefully, they can just replace this part okay. right here. Wow. So. Looks ancient. Yeah. So we'll take that in and see okay. what we find. Cool. We'll be back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you staying out here? It's cold. No, I'm going to come in. Oh, yeah. Unless I decide to go to this. The store? Down to the uh, truck parts places right now. Oh, yeah. Let's see what I can find. Well, it's raining. You might as well. I'm still working upstairs. Okay. Well, maybe I will. Okay. I found the part to fix this cheese slicer. <laughs> <laughs> what about the part to fix the bus? Uh, the windshield wiper. Not yet. Well, okay. So I found one part online. Okay. So I was going to see if I could get it used, but maybe I'll just have to like take what I can get when I find it. Yeah. And stuff. So I found one part online. So can get it. You can, so they do, they make um, them still. Well, yeah, that's a, yeah, one part. Is um, it to, like the part that, that big part, I don't know what it looks, I can't remember what it looks like, but that big part. Uh, I left it in the truck. Okay. Yeah, it's the part that goes on the inside on the, on the motor. Okay. 
where the air hoses hook up. Oh, that's right. And that, you can, that you can get. wiper motor. So I can get that part. Oh, cool. Um, as far as the wiper arm and stuff there goes, I don't know yet. I was hoping to find something used, which maybe yeah. I still can online. Okay. Or something. You know, Spalding Auto Parts has a lot of stuff you can pull it yourself or that will go out with you and oh, okay. and stuff. But can't go out in the yard without a mask because they have to drive you out. Are you so, joking? So no go at there. <laughs> I went to a couple other places and one, I was fine walking around the yard with a guy, but they didn't have any trucks old enough. Oh. They don't go that far back. Okay. How far back are we going? 89. 89. And they just go back to like the mid 90s. Okay. Um, and they didn't have any trucks that had air. Well, they had one truck that had air wipers, but different style. Um, and then the part I broke, I dropped off at a machine shop and their machinist was out. He's going to take a look at it and they'll give me a call and let me know okay. how much it would cost to okay. see if, if it's even feasible to have somebody make the part. Okay. Otherwise, uh, I don't know. We'll go from there. Well, it sounds no, like you had like, online. you basically have two out of three. Right. Um, if they can machine that part for a reasonable amount of money, and then if I can find parts for that wiper arm yeah. assembly, um, but then you know you can get that air ho air just thing, like the blades and stuff. I don't know. Okay. So we'll see. So I'm working on my wipers today. Got some blades uh, located, and um, last time I was working on it, I broke off a part right here. It's the, the second arm. It had a, a steel nut on it that was all rusted on and I sheared off right here. The old part actually sheared off right there. And so I took it into a machine shop and they cut, cut it off right here, cut the shaft off and then bored out the inside and then added this whole new piece here which is, you know, just the end of a bolt. It's got the threads the right length. So we're gonna put that on and we'll remount the wipers. So this part just has some uh, shoulders right there on it. And it just it mounts right in this hole. And then there's a fastener on the inside to hold it. Now we can replace this part on the outside. And here's the splines that lock the wiper in.